In this video, I'll demonstrate an OEE monitoring system using LoRa communication, following the same concept as in my previous video on LoRa communication to Modbus. On machine, I use relays as signals for the machine's status, start, downtime, output counter, and defect counter. These relays are connected to an ESP8266 as inputs, and I use a LoRa module to transmit the machine data. Similarly, for the second machine, I also use relays connected to an ESP8266 and LoRa. In this video, I demonstrate two machines using LoRa. This is the LoRa gateway that will receive messages from the machine's LoRa. As a Modbus TCP server, it stores the received data into coil registers for machine status and holding registers for counters. This ESP is also connected to the network via Ethernet, enabling communication with the TCP client. Based on changes in the machine status and periodically, the LoRa on each machine will send data to the LoRa gateway, including the start and downtime status, as well as the output and defect counters. The received data will be stored in the Modbus coil registers and holding registers. Node Red installed on the computer will connect to Modbus as a Modbus client and read the registers. The changes in the register values will then trigger queries to store the data in a PostgreSQL database. In addition to serving as the backend for querying the database based on readings from the Modbus registers, I also use Node Red as an OEE monitoring dashboard. This dashboard displays real time OEE data based on changes in the database. Here is an example of the ESP code I use for OEE monitoring with LoRa. It consists of two parts, one for sending data and the other for receiving data. In the sending data code, I use four pins as inputs, start, downtime, output counter, and defect counter. Whenever there's a change in any of these inputs, the ESP will send a structured message to the LoRa gateway. Additionally, to ensure that the data sent is always up to date, I use Millis to send messages periodically. For a similar example code, you can refer to my previous video on LoRa to Modbus. In the receive code, whenever a message is received from LoRa, the ESP will write to the coil registers for the machine start and downtime status, and to the holding registers to store the counter values. Next, here is an example of the node red flow I use. First, I create a variable for the machine ID, such as machine ID 8, which will be used for recording data. Then, I use the Modbus node to read the coil registers for the start and downtime status and record this data to the database. Additionally, I read the holding registers to store the output and defect counter values. For the machine simulation, I use buttons to simulate the relays. Each machine has four buttons, one for start, one for downtime, one for the output counter, and one for the defect counter. These are the two machines that will send data via LoRa communication to the LoRa gateway. The LoRa gateway is connected to the network using an Ethernet module, allowing it to be placed close to the computer without needing Wi-Fi. Now, let's test how this OE monitoring system works. We can observe the machine status changes on the dashboard in real time. When the machine starts or the start button is pressed, the machine will turn green. If the downtime button is pressed, the machine will turn red. When the output button is pressed, the output data will be recorded, and an animation will show output being produced by the machine. Similarly, with the defect counter, when the defect button is pressed, the number of defects will increase. When the start button is released, the machine status changes to off. You can see this on the machine graphic, where it turns gray to indicate that the machine is off. Now, let's test the other machine. On the dashboard, we can select which machine we want to monitor. Next, let's try changing the status of the machine.
In conclusion, this video demonstrated how to set up an OEE monitoring system using LoRa communication. We covered the process of sending and receiving data between machines and the LoRa gateway, managing this data with Node-RED, and simulating machine operations. With LoRa, there's no need for Wi-Fi, and its long-range capabilities allow data to be delivered over extended distances. This makes the system highly flexible and effective for real-time monitoring of machine performance. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, and subscribe for more content. See you in the next video.